Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can make rainbow text that looks just like this in Photopea super easily, just a few steps, a few clicks. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get your text tool. So I'm going to go ahead and get my text tool and type rainbow. And the font is luckiest guy. Just going to move this to the center. Change the size to uh we'll do 250 move that to the center let me take this gradient overlay off the background real quick uh double click on your text layer go to um gradient overlay click on that box go to this little box and click on it now you'll see there's a new window that popped up there's a black box and a white box basically what we're gonna do is double click on the very far left box change that to red click like right here It'll add another box, change that to like pink. Add another box next to it, change that to like a dark blue, like that. Another box, change it to a light blue. And then we'll do two more boxes. We'll change this one to yellow or green actually. And then this one to red. And make sure there's a good distance between all of them. Make sure it's even for the best results. So it looks pretty even. There we got the rainbow. You can adjust the scale if you want. It kind of helps. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an inner glow. And the setting's already on it, but you just want to change the blend mode to color dodge. Change the color to white. And you can just adjust the opacity if you want, but it looks pretty cool. Let me turn the background to black. So this is what the text is going to look like. It looks really awesome. Uh, but you could turn the uh, inner glow off if you don't like it. I personally like it. You can adjust the spread and size if you want. That just looks crazy. But whatever you want to do, there you go. Another thing I'm going to do is add bevel and emboss. And I'm going to change the technique to, uh, or the, yeah, the technique to smooth, turn the depth down, turn the opacity to zero on this, um, little slider here, turn the opacity to about 30 on this one. And here's all the other settings that gives it a cool look if you want to go for that, but you could always disable it and it'll look flat. It's up to you guys, but that's two ways you can do it. And that's all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.